वेलकम टू डेवलपर अड्डा टुडे ए न्यू टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पीडीएफ जनरेशन यूजिंग फ्लाइंग शर्शर सो इन जावा देर आर वेरियस ए पी आई टू जनरेट पी डी एफ लाइक आई टेक्सट जैसपर रिपोर्ट बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी विल सी वन ए पी आई विद द हेल्प ऑफ दैट वी कैन ईजिली जनरेट द पी डी एफ And these are the content we are going to discuss: basic architecture, introduction to flying saucer, generating a simple PDF using HTML, CSS, time lapse, flying saucer with Spring Boot, and we'll create a project by taking Swiggy order and invoice receipt. So before that, let's go to architecture. So in Java, there are various APIs there to generate PDF like iText. and just for report but what is the problem with that so in that api we have to write everything to generate the pdf that means we have to write huge code to generate the pdf and this api there are few features in this api that is not open source so is there any way where we can simply generate the pdf without writing the huge line of code the solution is flying saucer so flying saucer is an api which take html and css as an input and uh, with the help of time leap it will bind the dynamic data from server side language like java and it will create pdf with that code so basically it will takes xhtml css HTML, XML as an input, and converts into a PDF or an image or any JPEG. So this is an architecture about time. Sorry, flying saucer. So if you want to know more about flying saucer, you can visit this documentations link are in the description box. So now demo time. we will discuss flying saucer by taking a sample example and then later we will discuss more on this by taking a real time project okay let's quickly go to spring start.io spring initializer it's a tool to create a spring boot applications so we will create this project by a spring boot applications so i have to give project metadata com dot flying saucer then artifact flying saucer and demo click on more options i have to give the name flying saucer demo then i have to give descriptions about this project and this a maven project and you can create a greater project too so description is simple project to create pdf using flying saucer and the spring word version is 2.1.4 and i have to give the pack like uh, sample or example anything and i have to create a jar with java 8 version So click on generate project. It will generate a project for you. So let me open STS. So I'm launching my applications in STS. It will take some time to open. Okay, then I have to import that project from my directory. import existing maven project click on next browse okay browse click on browse flying saucer demo select folder click on phoenix click on finish it successfully imported flying saucer demo project to into our workspace and this is the project structure we are using jdk 8 it's a maven project spring boot based project okay the next is that let me create two pro packages here 
one with com dot flying saucer example dot config click on finish and one right click right click new packages com dot flying saucer dot example dot service click on finish and we are using one reference this is a text file where whatever reference needed for the project we will take from here so first we have to add flying social library here so we have added inform.xml And then next we have to add the configurations related to time leap. So these are the configuration. We have to add one class loader, template resolver. So we have to specify the necessary configuration here. And then I will create one service, PDF service. Click on finish. And I wrote few logic here let me import so here what i wrote we are using context one variable context is used to bind the data into the template and context dot set a variable whatever data we want to display in html we have to specify here after template engine dot process what it will do it will take that hello world dot html which will create later into html then i text renderer will convert that into a pdf with the help of output stream so we have to create hello world dot html later so this is a sample code i text renderer renderer create pdf finish pdf that's all we have to write and then okay we have to execute this application through win method so in spring boot we need to implement command line runner inside that we have to inject our pdf service class here private pdf service pdf service and then at the rate autoware autoware System dot 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 print ln creating PDF PDF service dot create PDF again system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln PDF creation done that's all these are the things we have to write in main method and then we have to create the template HTML template the name is hello world we specify in the service so this contain very simple logic which will display the name what we bind in the service here you can see the code it's a HTML file template p we have used one paragraph called and that's all we have to keep this HTML file in a folder so that we can maintain easily because in time leap configuration we specify that pick this HTML from this folder that's all now what we have to do we have to run the application okay done creating pdf pdf creation is done let me refresh the applications you can see demo1.pdf okay then let me open this pdf 
so we successfully created one pdf with the help of time leap and flying social this is very easy guys so in next video we will see a real time applications we will take a swiggy use case to create a invoice copy in that we will discuss the details each by each and every line of the code and also we will discuss what are the benefit if we are using flying saucer what are the disadvantages if we are using flying saucer and next what is the scope of the flying saucer in future and which company is using flying saucer lot of things but for this we have to wait for next video so thank you very much thanks for watching see you soon